The Volumes of Truth. Volume 7. The Lord Gives. Behold, the Lord also takes away. Section 2. Woe to the peoples of the earth. May 14, 2010. From the Lord, our God and Savior. The word of the Lord spoken to Timothy. For all those who have ears to hear. Behold. The peoples of the earth have become as a swarm of devouring locusts, which consume every green thing. A forest of fallen trees, broken and dying. A desolate valley, where the rains have ceased, and the grass is tread down. Yet there is no seed left in you. How then shall you arise? Peoples of the earth. You have destroyed yourselves. You have taken your own lives. Even now you are gasping for breath. Your strength all but gone from you, as your life flees away. Behold, death is at the door, and is about to come in, says the Lord. Behold, by the works of your own hands, O foolish generation, are you held captive, prisoners of sin, workers of great iniquity, who embrace every perverse way. Behold the final generation, the last, of the kingdoms of men, a most arrogant and wicked generation a people who exalt themselves above their Creator, and cast off my gifts, destroying that which I created for them. An abominable people, who destroy life, while still in the womb. This is my earth, of which you have polluted, my precious lambs, which you have slaughtered. Therefore, because you have made yourselves enemies of God, and speak as though you were God, thus says the Lord, I am come to cut down the generation of my wrath, to strike the nations in my hot displeasure. Behold, I shall cause nature to rise up and fight against you, and the earth shall become your enemy, from which there shall be no defense nor hiding place. Behold, perplexity and great fear shall overtake you, and you shall be unable to move, astonished at those things coming to pass upon the earth and in the heavens. For my anger is kindled against you, and shall come forth like fire. For the Lord God of hosts, has purposed destruction upon the earth, and upon all the cities of men. Behold, wrath overflows my cup, and shall proceed like a flood, and you shall all bow down to the slaughter. From the beginning, my plans were written, and made known. Yet when I called to you, you would not answer. And when I spoke to you, you refused to hear but continued to do evil in my sight, choosing always those things I hate, casting your lot with the deceiver, holding your heads high, as you joined the ranks of the rebellious, evil workers, reprobate children. Therefore, woe to the peoples of the earth, for the Almighty is coming down to you, in the fierceness of his wrath. In haste he shall deliver his people, and with great anger, he shall pour out judgment upon the inhabitants of the earth.